about that, right? You have to push the body weight forward when you step off. And that's why that's happening, okay? Same thing in the beginning. It starts off rough and then and then makes corrections, but it's gotta happen sooner. Hopefully you guys can see it. There's a few targeted areas we had to hit in this halftime show. You have to be thinking about them ahead of time. Remember, you, you're good about seeing it and making adjustments. It's crucial that you help us maximize our time to, to, to address these issues, right? You can see them, okay? So when we get out there, we'll try to help you, uh, give you an opportunity to fix them and point them out, but um, we gotta get moving, okay? We're gonna go outside, do a quick concert arts. So we'll run through our show, then we'll get to pregame. Thank you guys. Yeah, let's do it. Woo! My name is Dennis Shinas. I'm the associate director of bands and director of the Tiger Band here. Uh, it's my seventh year at LSU. The Tiger Band is a family. Um, I think it really starts with that. That's one of the things that's real special. The character of the organization, of the students, everybody that's been involved, it's a very supportive atmosphere. And the community we live in loves the Tiger Band. So with all of these things combined, you have an organization that is instantly part of a community that students feel like they're a part of you know an organization that's existed for 125 years and you can tell where the tradition is when we get on the field for pregame and you hear the first four notes when we come out and you hear the crowd erupt on every corner when we face them uh, it's, it's pretty special it's a pretty magical thing This is the first time that we've used UDB with Tiger Band, and uh, it's been a really, a really cool thing. That's how we map out the entire show. With it, you can press like this animation, and you can watch like basically your dot like going around the field, and it really gives you like a real feel as to what you're gonna do. Oh, technology's been awesome. When we had paper, you print out all this paper, and then oh, we have three mistakes collect all the papers, shred that, reprint all the copies, then pass them back out. You can also put your music onto it too, so you can see where in the music you are, like versus what dot you're on. We start off when we're learning drill, you know, okay, watch the animation from page one to two. Everyone watches it. Now place yourselves on page two. And it was a pretty remarkable moment when one day when we were learning drill, I forgot to say, hey, set up the next set. I just said, watch the animation. Okay, let's march it. And I forgot to tell them to set it. And they knew exactly where to go and they made it work. That wouldn't have been possible if they were looking at a regular drill chart. So UDB has been just a really great resource for us. And we're proud to be 100% paperless for everything we do. I love Tiger Band. It's a huge LSU tradition. It's the most visible organization on campus, which is something that I'm really proud to be a part of. It's just something I love to do. I mean, all my friends are in Tiger Band. People I've grown through college with are here, and I absolutely love Color Guard. I couldn't imagine going to a football game without it, and just being a regular student isn't the same as experiencing it through Tiger Band. Specifically for me, uh, my dad is an alumni. I grew up coming to football games, so I've always seen the Tiger Band. I just really wanted to be a part of that. It looked like a really big family, and that's really what it is. The biggest reason that got me coming back was just to be able to make the best music with my best friends at one of the best universities in the nation. Golden Girls dance throughout the field. They dance with band members. The captains write all the choreography, they teach it. It's, it's amazing how quick they can learn things. They are incredibly talented. <laughs> I know every college march band tradition, uh, but the traditions here at LSU, whenever you play four notes, just four notes, and a whole stadium erupts of over 100,000 people, you know you have something special here. I honestly love pregame. It's one of my favorite parts of game day. My favorite one of all time is pregame. <laughs> Everything that we do is surrounded by like the richness and culture of Louisiana. From the four notes that we play in the beginning to like the style that we play, and everything that we really master with the band. So it's just this inner breathe, this gumbo of emotions and feelings that just makes us different from anywhere else in America. Oh, 
go to standby. We have, we have some people, people that I used correctly to yesterday, yesterday about over 70 or 100 that are doing the exact same thing today, and that can't happen. Okay, we have to have more of an awareness of what's happening. With pregame, we don't mess with that one. That's like a, that's an age-old tradition. There's kind of a funny story where Frank Wicks was hired here in 1980. They told him, you can do anything you want except two things. One, you cannot change pregame. And two, you can't get rid of the Golden Girls. Directors here are awesome. They're really intelligent and like really good with their art and they know what they want out of us and out of the music and they're really motivating. They know us all by name personally, like Dr. Yunus made it a point during band camp that the grad students and directors know us all by name so it makes it feel really personal. It's really pulling out around Connor and Nick and then pulling back around Logan and Skyler. You guys got to make sure that you're in a straight line when you're marching across the field, okay? You guys are set up to have a really great show today. Woo! It's gonna be very exciting. I mean, this just gets a whole new level when you see the PowerPoint that's gonna go on, which you won't be able to see because you're performing. So please don't watch the screen, I don't like all right? <laughs> Game day is honestly the most exciting thing you can ever experience at LSU campus. This is definitely the biggest game of the entire season. The Alabama game has always got a little extra electricity in the air. But this year, this is a major game. The students have been hyped for this. march down the hill when we're going to the game, we'll turn a corner and you'll end up seeing 20,000 people just lined up on the sides, just waiting for the band to come down. When we march down for a game, there are thousands, not hundreds, thousands of people to hear the band and to hear four notes that are iconic around the world. so amped up and like ready to watch you and it's like it's just an unreal feeling like it's hard to describe. There's a lot of emotion a lot of uh, excitement around this game. You know we have a really rich rivalry with Bama. That's why the band's really excited and the fans are even more excited. This is a really hyped game everyone's just really happy to be here. The crowd's gonna be so hyped. <laughs> I don't think anybody really understands the the level of intensity that Tiger Stadium is gonna have that the students are going to bring to the field and that the audience and all of our fan base will bring to Tiger Stadium. That stadium is going to be packed. The first time I ever did pregame was something incredibly special. The, the best word I like to describe it as electric. Playing pregame for the first time was like, I don't even, there's no words to describe it. Just like seeing all those fans just surrounding you and like chanting and clapping, it's like an insane feeling. It's super cool. You can feel it in the air, just everyone clapping along with the band. When you play those four notes and you salute that first corner, the stadium erupts. It's, it is indescribable. It honestly is.
just the friends you make with this group, you know, it's a true family. All of my best friends are in band and it's just really awesome to like be a part of band with them and do things with them outside of band as well. The love the fans have for the band, the big impact the band has in the game. You know, when you go to Tiger Stadium and you see a first down happen, you can't see a first down without hearing, da 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 da, go Tiger! Band has really just like, it, it's become like a routine in my life. You do it for your passion, like you earn a passion for it, kind of. We're doing our Veterans Day show, which we've been practicing for the past two weeks. And uh, it's supposed to be one of the most like viewed shows that we ever do, just because of how uh, important it is to just, you know, history and, and our veterans. And we're trying to just honor them. One thing I can say, our students are second to none, and I would bet hard-earned money on that. The energy they put towards things, the attitude, and that's something that seeped through LSU culture and tradition. The biggest inspiration for me is, and the way I was always raised was, I want to leave a place better than I found it. And the Gold Bear for Tigerland is such a fantastic organization. I want to just be able to find a way to contribute by doing what I can as a leader to bring up my friends and my fellow musicians, dancers, color guard members, you name it, to make this group as best as it can be. As far as like the end of the season goes, it's bittersweet, but at the same time, like I'm really looking forward to next year and what's in store for next year as well. It makes me nervous, you know, because thinking about graduating, you know, in another two years and not having that experience anymore, it just it's it's crazy how time flies. We're ending the season on a really good note. You know, I think everybody is happy with the product that we've put out this year, and so I think it's really good to end on this positive, like, feeling that we're having. I'm really excited to keep using this technology and, you know, see kind of where it takes us and, you know, where we can go with it. It's going to be really cool. It's putting it all in perspective. I, I often think back on my first time doing pregame and thinking, wow, this is something truly special. And, you know, knowing I only have two more left, it's, uh, it's a little bit disheartening, but I want to give it all I got for, for all my friends here at the Tiger Band. LSU! One, two, three, LSU Tigers!